lesson number two, we are still uh, looking at transverse waves. So let's look at this diagram. So we are using this uh, line, which is between equilibrium, the, that's the rest point. Then from this point, it's called the cross at the maximum from the point of uh, rest. And the distance from there up to this one is called the amplitude. Then from here up to here, it's called the wavelength. So if you can find different positions to have your wavelength. So from here up to here, it's it's going to be your wavelength also you can also call your uh, wavelength and then from here up to here is also a wavelength from here up to here is also another wavelength so this is um the diagram that we use when um, we we'll talk of transverse waves okay so i think the center line that that uh, that shows through the the rope is called the rest position which is a point of equilibrium then the highest point is called the crest which is this one the lowest point is called the trough and then the wavelength the distance between two consecutive crests or troughs that are measured in what? In meters. Okay, now let's look at now. How do you count waves? He is asking, how many waves are there? And they are saying there are two complete waves that we have. So let's check this wave. So from here up to here, this is half wave. This is another half wave. So from this point up to number two, that's one full complete wave. Then from here up to number four, another one complete wave so if you check here this is half another half another half another another half if you add these ones they give us two complete uh, waves okay now the thing the number of complete waves that pass through a fixed point is called frequency which is measured in hertz okay let's look at this at this uh, example they say a period how do you find period the wave motion is the unit it takes to complete one wave and is measured in seconds. That is the period. So period, you're saying T is equals to 1 over F. And then we also have frequency, which is 1 over T. So the two equations that we're going to use. Okay, let's check these examples. So as you're given this, I said a pendulum did five swings in one second. Calculate the period. So these five swings is the frequency that it is. So you're saying T is equals to 1 over F, where 1 over 5, that's the frequency. So our period for this uh our, our, our pendulum is 0.25 seconds. Then we are given another example. A pendulum has a frequency of 5 hertz. Calculate the period. Here we are given the frequency is 5 hertz. Then said, um, calculate what? The period of, of, of this. So here it will be uh, t, t is equals to 1 over f. Remember, we are, we are given the frequency, so it will be T1 over F. So it's 1 over 0 0.5, which is going to give us 2 seconds. That's how you, you calculate on that one. And then now, we are saying here, yeah, we are looking at, we are giving this set how to find also period, given uh, this type of, of, of an example. We said two and a half, we said how to find period. The frequency of the pendulum is, is 0 0.5 is calculate the period. So it's t over 1 over f is 1 over 0 0.5 to start 2 seconds. That's how you find a period. Okay. Now they're saying wave speed. How do you find wave speed? Wave speed, they're saying it's the distance traveled by a wave in one second. So wave speed, that's the formula. It's supposed to be distance covered over time taken, which is v is supposed to change in distance over change in time. So we can use um, uh, 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 symbols, which is v is equals to f times r. Uh, uh, wave length. That's the the the, the, the formula.